Hi you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the weeks of August the 1st through the 15th, 2017. I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. And I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you please continue to do so. Also remember guys, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully they do uh, bring clarity to uh, the majority of you. And also I've been mentioning in all my videos, I just feel like I want to remind you guys that um, overall you have the power to change your outcome, your future, that is up to you. This is just my perception of what I see coming or happening, um, but it's always up to you to change or reverse something or, um, you know, to create the desired outcome that you want, okay? Um, oh, and for you tarot fans, this is uh, from, this is Darkness Tarot. I don't know his website, but I follow him on Instagram, so I guess if you like hash, hashtag uh, Darkness Tarot, um, he will pull up the creator of the cards. All right, so the heart of the situation, we have the Five of Cups, um, the Ace of Wands, the Sun, uh, the Fool. You know, I said this was Spanish. This might be Italian. Oh my goodness. Y'all think I'm crazy. Um, the Moon, Queen of Coins, Page of Cups, and the Moon. All right, so um, starting off with the Five of Cups, I feel like you're grieving over someone or something. Like you miss someone or you're regretting something and you're saying why didn't I do this or why didn't I do that or it's almost like you I don't know if you're beating yourself up or feeling like something is all your fault um but I feel like you are kind of upset with yourself about something that happened in the past if you're not upset with yourself just overall I just feel like you're kind of upset about something um you might be regretting not taking someone up on their offer. There's an Ace of Wands here. So there's some sort of new opportunity being offered to you. This could have been something like a uh, someone that you were attracted to physically. This could have been some sort of new opportunity to start your own business. Or this could be some sort of spiritual enlightenment or opportunity. There's something going on and you're just kind of like, ah, uh, should it? I should have did this or I should have did that. I don't know. I just kind of feel like you're having some sort of regrets or grieving about something. Um, but I feel like the truth is going to come out. Um, I'm feeling more optimism on the way. And I'm, I'm seeing like a companion. I almost feel want to say that like if you have a pet, like you share all of your problems to your pet. Um, if it's not a pet, this is someone that you, they're loyal, they've always been around, and I feel like you can trust that person. Um, but I do feel like there is, uh, the truth is going to come out. Also, if you haven't missed out on this opportunity, make sure that you get out of whatever rut you're in so that you don't miss out on some sort of brand new opportunity there's like good news here it's like hello you know it's like right here so this could be the opportunity to meet someone or talk to someone that you're attracted to it could be um a creative opportunity uh, where i don't know like if you're an artist and maybe you've been trying to get your artwork out there or something dealing with you know creativity or writing or art anything art um, that opportunity, I feel like maybe you're feeling like you missed out on an opportunity, but you didn't. If that's how you're feeling, the opportunity is still there. So if there's someone that you're trying to reach out to or someone that you're 
uh, missing reach out to them let them know um now i do feel that you're letting go of the past i feel um like you're starting some sort of journey um either alone or like you feel like maybe again we have the uh, the dog here which shows me some sort of loyal companionship so i don't know if you're just really close with your pet you're just saying it's just me and you um but i feel like you're getting up and you're walking away from a situation you're taking a chance on something you're just like why not i'm just gonna start brand new i don't care i don't care what happens and you're you're going out on, on the ledge and taking this chance here um some people might be like you know what are you doing you're crazy um but you don't care at this point i just kind of feel like you're just letting go and starting s something brand new hmm. uh okay so with the moon here this is telling me that there's some sort of secrets Either you're holding a lot of secrets or someone is holding a lot of secrets from you. You might be um, hiding the fact that you're intuitive or you're hiding. There's something that you're hiding. You might be hiding the fact that you're grieving. Um, or you might be hiding the fact that you're about to take this new venture or, or um, new adventure. Something that you're about to get ready to do. This is also telling me something about um, the possibility of trying to take a chance on a reader or a psychic and saying, you know what, I'm just going to go to them and see what they say or see what happens. And you're just giving something a chance. Maybe this is something out of character for you, but I feel like you're you're acting out or, or just doing something completely new and different this is like unchartered territory for you um also with the moon this is telling me that things are going on behind closed doors that um not behind closed doors well that too but i mean like spiritually like on a spiritual realm so it's like you you have to use your intuition you have to have some patience and you have to have use your intuition you have to use what's inside like the answers are within you and sometimes you can be your own blockage um your own barrier from the other side or from reaching the outcome that you want because you're not listening to your your intuition you're not so this could also be a sign that you need to listen to your dreams the things that you're having and pay attention to whatever it is you're feeling because it's like your body is not lying to you if you have a feeling like just go after that uh, i am going to clarify the moon a little bit um let's see what these secrets see if i can find out anything about the secrets usually i try to leave it alone if the moon shows up because that i mean it's a secret but let me see if I can find out anything else. So let's clarify the moon. It is the Queen of Cups. So either you might be holding some sort of secret back that concerns um, this water sign. Could be male or female. Um, they could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or maybe they're the ones that um, are withholding some sort of information from you. And now we got the Queen of Wands. So I think these are secrets about people um so either you're keeping some sort of secret uh you could be involved with two people i don't know but you're either you 
are keeping some sort of secret about these people or they're keeping some sort of secret from you but whatever the case I'm feeling like there's some sort of um, having some sort of regrets and feeling missed out on something but though that opportunity yep those opportunities are still there and you might get two uh, what do you call it uh, two signs or two chances like if you don't if you missed it the first time it's going to come back and the second time it comes around this opportunity is going to be loud and clear so that you have to recognize it okay um, now with the Queen of Coins here um, also some of you could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn uh, Virgo such as yourself um, but I'm feeling like this is you and I feel that you are admiring someone there's a deep admir admiration for someone uh, you might feel like you are connected to someone um, emotionally or you might have some sort of of connection to someone like um, an emotional connection like your empath like you could feel what this person is feeling or maybe they feel what you feel but I feel like there is this admiration because you're looking at this person very lovingly. You might be thinking about how you feel or thinking about how can you say what you want to feel because I, the Page of Cups is also about um, about feelings that are developing like you don't know what to do with them or maybe you don't understand what they are. But there's definitely some sort of opportunity um, for you to get to know someone but with the moon here I feel that you're torn and I feel that you let your insecurities get in the way um, the moon here is showing some sort of uh, deep rooted insecurities that you're having I don't know why you're ha you're having some sort of doubts or feeling that um, I don't know having some sort of mood swings one minute you're confident, the next minute you're insecure, one minute you're up, one minute you're down. There's something going on. It's at, like you have a split person personality going on. Uh, also, you could be dealing with someone who has a split personality. And for some of you, like you are having like these deep emotions come out of you and you're not realizing where they're coming from and you're being paranoid about something you're like I don't know um you know where these feelings are coming from and for some of you it's just letting you know that hey you're an empath like yeah you can kind of feel other people's energies and it it affects your emotions a lot so that might be a lot of times why you feel like the need to just go away from everybody um with the fool here um now if you are in a relationship it just could be that maybe you feel like you need some time alone some uh need some time to yourself you might be just taking a chance and doing something um I don't know there's some again dealing with those secrets I don't know if you're confessing secrets to someone or sharing your secret with those two people um ooh, again the tower is coming out tower and judgment somebody else had tower and judgment together uh I can't remember who that was but definitely some sort of truth is going to be exposed or put on display or some receiving some sort of uh, news or announcement so I feel like the following week is something unexpected is happening and again I'm gonna clarify tower for you this may have something to do with a fire sign so Leo um, Sagittarius or an Aries but this person is very dominating and they're very attractive too I feel like they're very mysterious but they're very controlling they like to be in control of a lot of things and they're very passionate about uh, certain things they may be an artist or someone who's also very creative either you could be reaching out to them or they could be reaching out to you uh, I'm seeing a sense of rejection though or someone I don't know someone might be flirting with you or letting you know that um, you're approachable 
but I'm seeing someone not still trying not I don't know they're hesitant about that opportunity okay so the tower clarified by the nine of wands is maybe it's just you coming into some sort of realization um, that you're paranoid or that you maybe you didn't realize that you were insecure about something um, but I feel like it's you're gonna take a chance and face those fears head on um, but you're it's like you're proceeding with caution like uh, whatever it is that you were having doubts about you know you're, you're like okay I'm gonna deal with this but with with caution um, yeah, so, and also now with the, you know, being next to judgment here, I feel like you're being forced to say something or forced to face these past issues that have not been dealt with. Um, you're being asked to wake up or to answer a calling it's like you have to do it you have to be in control you have to take charge and go after whatever it is that you want so if it's someone that you're interested in you you need to take care of this if you're in a relationship and you're having some sort of issues you're going to have to confront your partner these issues can't keep getting swept under the rug or under the carpet or whatever um i do feel like you're being optimistic and uh I almost feel like you might come crawling back with your tail between your legs or this if you had a falling out with your partner maybe this is how they return they're coming back with their tail in between their legs if there was some sort of fallout or dispute um, but I feel like you might have two options or two possibilities as well like if you're dating around or you're trying to see who it is that you want to settle down with you might um, have two people and I feel like you're trying to make up your mind or you have you will make up your mind by the end of uh, the week and it's like you're making plans um, you may feel like you have met your match but this could also be someone that you have power struggles with hmm but I, I feel like you're um, you have your eyes set on uh, something up like you have a vision and you're going after it maybe you're trying to do it in a way that you want to do it or something it could be a opportunity for um, a, a person or a new career change or something whatever it is I feel like you're passionate about it I feel like once you realize what your insecurities are you'll be able to move forward in whatever it is that you want to go after and I'm also seeing that there's a possibility that there's someone at a distance or that you feel is unattainable or you feel is unreachable. Uh, that's just how you feel. That's not real. Those aren't. That's an illusion that you're feeding yourself. That's not true. So if you are interested in someone, that person is attainable. It's not, you know, some far fetched dream. Um, and if that isn't you, then this is how someone is viewing you or perceiving you. They're like, I can do this, you know, but I guess they have to think about it and, you know, deal with some inner things first. All right. So, you guys, uh, this has been a, a general reading. I hope it resonated. Um, you know, make sure you're leaving your comments and liking, sharing and subscribing. Uh, for those of you that may be wondering, I, I'm not doing that other website. Uh, I just felt like it wasn't for me, so I won't be doing that. Um, no issue with the psychic. I don't want you guys thinking there is an issue with the psychic. Um, it's just that I, I just didn't feel like that was for me. Um, and I can't, I couldn't put my finger on what it was. So all I know is that my body or my spirit is like, no, or it was too hesitant. So I know it's not for me. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, you can still book your readings by emailing me and requesting, you know, that information on readings and um, book it that way namat76 at gmail.com is in the description box below thank all of you guys for liking sharing and subscribing many blessings to you